Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a frontline cop at the Mount Wellington Police Station, and this is Ride Along. So I'll have a chat to What are you doing? And also try to break the flying fox and the smash them bottles. Is anyone around Port Hello Hi there, sir. Oh, what the day. Ew. What dance moves are you doing, bro? Yeah, I took a long. Oh, you took a long one? No. Oh, it's down, bro. It's down. I never know. But I am boy. My name is... You don't recognize me at all, do you? Yes, I do need you. Yeah, I've arrested you before, mate. And what? For the same thing. But nothing more. Am I right? Because I'm honest. Yeah, but you drink too much, mate. I'm not drinking, you are. <laughs> oh, it's a guy. I'm not drinking, better. I'm not. You're not I'm drinking wasted. now. I'm just wasted. That's it. I'm not green I'm just wasted, boss. I'm being honest. Well, what do you need to be a little less wasted, man? Give me a life. Give me something to do. You have a life. You gotta decide oh, that you no, wanna do no, something, it's mate. It's hard. It's hard for us. It's very hard. Honestly, it's very hard. We're trying to find it, but we can't get a good. Receiving. You can uh, come and call me, please. Can I give him a bus? It's hard. Yeah. I thought I was going to be fine. Ready for number? Yep. Go ahead. So that job kind of came out of the middle of nowhere. Um, essentially a member of the public called us to let us know there was a person who'd driven a car onto their property, gotten out of their vehicle and started consuming alcohol. And when they asked that person to leave, the person told them to, uh, uh, <laughs> that they wouldn't leave uh, in, uh, in, in stricter words than that. Uh, so we arrived um, and had a chat to the fella and he was wasted. He was also wanted and a disqualified driver so the vehicle is being impounded and he is off to the cells for the night to appear before the judge tomorrow and explain himself. Hey everybody, welcome to my day off. I get a few questions about my days off, about what I get up to, about how the roster works, so I thought I'd answer a few of those and take you with me on my drive this morning. Firstly, I wanted to say thanks to everybody who's watched, who's liked, who's subscribed, who's commented. Uh, the series has gone a little better than, than I'd initially expected and that's down to you, so thank you. Uh, I'd also like to say um, thanks to the people who left comments uh, about my injury. Um, I was actually cleared for full duty by the time that episode went up, uh, but it was, it was a long road and I really appreciate the support. So today, pretty good day for me. Uh, it started with a good run in the hills around my house. I haven't really been able to do that for a while. I've been doing like a rehab program, so my runs have been kind of limited. Uh, but uh, I finished that, so today was my first proper run through the hills, which is a great feeling. Um, bit of a workout and uh, coffee. Now I'm heading back because this afternoon I'm going to go and see Venom. I'm pretty excited about it, despite the fact the reviews aren't particularly great. I reckon Tom Hardy will uh, pull it together. Um, and then uh, play some arcade games at uh, Game on Queen Street with some friends. I consider myself a little bit of an expert at piano keys, so if you're ever down there, jump on that, see if you can beat my score. But there is more to days off uh, than just fun and games. Uh, one of the most important parts about days off is sleep. Sleep is an important part about being a police officer. It's an important part about shift work in general, so I thought I'd explain how I get through it. Hopefully that'll help you. Pretty much everybody leaving college, with a few exceptions, works what's called the 222 roster. 
two early shifts, two late shifts, two night shifts, four days off. That first day off being the end of your first night shift. So it's like in the morning and you pretty much just go home and go to sleep. So it's kind of three and a half days off. Um, and the way to manage that kind of shifting time that you are at work and going to bed and things like that is just sleeping when you're tired. Don't be uh, pedantic about going to bed at a certain time and waking up at a certain time. Just go to sleep when you're tired and sleep as much as you can. And if you need to have a nap in the afternoon before work, hey, a lot of us do it. So don't feel bad. But there's more to sleep than just getting a good amount of it. Diet, exercise, and adrenaline. Kind of like the three components. Now I'm not a neuroscientist, so this would be a pretty simplistic kind of breakdown. But you want to make sure that you're eating healthy, you've got a balanced diet, you're exercising regularly, whether it's before or after a shift, uh, and you're managing your adrenaline. And <clears throat> there's no real way to manage uh, when you're going to get a big adrenaline dump, but when, when things happen at work, uh, when there's you know particularly intensive jobs, when you've got to like get up and chase somebody, you know when something suddenly unfolds uh, in front of you, unfolds in front of you. Um, you, you get this huge hit of adrenaline. You know, your body just goes into like its response time mode uh, and you feel that and they talk a lot about that at police college and about managing that. And often, a little bit of exercise at the end of that shift, at the end of that, uh, that day, where you feel that um, is, is particularly important. I normally work out before, uh, but sometimes, you know, you got like a particularly intensive day. Uh, it's a good idea to just go for a run. Um, you know, or, or, or do something a little active at the end, just to help your body kind of manage its way down with all that adrenaline. And that's all for this week. I am planning to make these longer. I've taken a lot of comments on board. Unfortunately, having just returned to regular duty, I haven't had a heap of time to collect footage like I normally do. But next week will be a full set for me out on the street. So there'll be plenty of on the job footage uh, for me to go through with you. Let me know if I'm missing anything, if you've got any other questions, I'll do my best to get to them in the comments or in future videos. Please uh, subscribe, ring the bell, it's not just me uploading for this channel, there's lots of good stuff so make sure you get a notifications and you check in pretty much every week we've got something going up. See you later.